he has been the same dude that you guys have seen every single day since he's I've been his teammate. Um, and I, I just I'm so proud of him, everything he's done. And uh, I, I I was talking about earlier, uh, you know, there was a lot of you know outside noise around him, obviously, but we felt confident with him inside the team, and um, you know it showed today. I think he looked like he always does today, and I tried to tell everyone he looks exactly the same, and no one wanted to believe me. And I started him in fantasy this week, so he helped me out, and um, I think I had Greg too, so we we had a good day. When you did in that fourth quarter, it was kind of narrative. Yeah, no, that third and fourth quarter. I think that's been that's been a trend since I've been with him. Is that you know when they get tired, he doesn't, and he finishes off games for us. And you know it is a credit to the O line and, and what they were able to do with movement wise and, and the way we were scheming some stuff up. But I mean, he was breaking some tackles in the backfield and getting ten yard gains, and that's you know. That's what he's done his whole life, and, and it's never changed. And I, I think there was a lot of you know skepticism about him, but I, I don't know what this any more to say other than he just keeps producing on the field. I mean, that's all he keeps doing. You know, Dolph, you talk about the offensive line did a good job keeping the corner together. They did a great job. Yeah, they did, they did a tremendous job, and I thought those uh, you know two young guys stepped in tremendously and, and have done so good. And, and today was you know a good showing by both of them, and, and me and Brian. Um, our rapport has only grown and, and, and only grew furthermore throughout this game. And uh, they did a great job. I think I may have gotten hit once, and, and one of them was probably self inflicted. So uh, they did a great job. Yeah, Malcolm's been that steady workhorse for us as well. I think in the same, in the same way, whenever we kind of needed a run, he was always there. And, um, you know, Mal Malcolm doesn't get a lot of credit at times, but he's, you know, been a steady guy that we've needed, really, truly needed um, for the last few years. And, has just produced, just goes out there and produces and doesn't say much and, and, and does his thing. And uh, I'm very thankful to have both him and Todd. Jared, how valuable is it to be able to move up of Todd and Mr. Malcolm as two running backs you guys can count on and you know, get points and get some decisions? It's huge. It's huge. I think, you know, defenses are, are going to present us with different challenges every game. And I think, you know, this one in particular, they were, they were you know, playing very, really soft and, and were giving us a good chance to run the ball. And, and when teams do do that, we, we will run the ball and we'll run the ball well. And, um, you know, hopefully that'll get them to step up and so we can go over the top. But uh, I think today was a good, good example of a, a disciplined game. You know, they, they were doing one thing defensively and uh, I tried to stay disciplined with where I was throwing the ball and not force anything. And, and I know we ran the ball well. So it was a, it was a good job by us offensively. And, we just need to finish finish the game off. Close the door. How nice was it to have uh, Cooper Cup out there? Cooper looked great. Yeah. Uh, sorry, one sec. Yeah, Cooper did a great job. Just having him back and his overall feel is so tremendous. And I think you know, there's times where I'll lean on him and, and ask him what he's seeing. He sees it just like I do. So there's you know, it's like having another quarterback out there, and uh, he's he's got a great feel and. Um, it's obviously such a great player, and, and I'm happy to have him back. For you, you guys were always talking about you know, what you did out there. And to kind of leave completely complete last, last year behind, the last time yeah. you were on the field, you get the chance to come out here and perform. Yeah, it's official now. I hope they don't have to talk about it much more. Uh, we can talk about this game and then this season. Uh, but it, it, it feels good. I think, uh, like I mentioned, anytime you can come on the road and play a good team with Carolina and, and a good defense and, and be able to produce and our defense play the way they did and it's tough I mean anytime you get on the road especially in that first game you don't really know what to expect get on the road and uh, play an early start it's it's a tough job it's a tough job to do and, and we did it today all I gotta do is play and it's, it's great uh, I'm ex I was excited about it uh, earlier in the week and still am uh, I think it's a you know, it's something that has allowed me to play completely freely and, you know, just, just focus on winning at all times and, and what I can do to make myself better. And um, once again, I'm very thankful for, you know, the Rams and, and them taking, you know, not ultimately that chance a few years ago on me, but, uh, you know, showing their commitment once again. I, I, I don't think so. I think, you know, we kind of went through the same thing last year when we didn't do it. I think regardless of if you play in the preseason or not, the real f first games are different. It's a different speed. It's a different tempo. And I think if we had or if we hadn't, we would have had to come out and kind of catch our rhythm anyways. I think, it, you know, it does take a few series and being able to kind of see what they're doing, like I said, and, and, and settle in. And uh, I thought we did. I, I thought we did settle in. It just weren't able to push it over the hill.
Thank you, guys. Okay. All right. Uh, good hard-fought win today. I thought Carolina did a great job. Credit to Coach Rivera and, and his group. Uh, made it as difficult as it gets. But ultimately, it's about coming on the road, finding a way to get a win, and we did that as a team, and, and that's the goal. Uh, the, the beauty of it is there's a lot of things, starting with myself, that we can look at, get cleaned up, and move forward looking, to, uh, looking towards a very, very good uh, New Orleans Saints football team coming to our place the next week. But uh, I thought at the end of the day, got some big turnovers from our defense. Uh, it was great to see Todd Gurley finish out that game. You get into a four-minute situation, he's able to close it out. I think he finished just under 100. Uh, but I thought he and Malcolm both did an excellent job in addition to our offensive line, really getting great push, especially as the game wore on where we were able to get off some more rushing attempts where we were heavy throwing it early on in that game. And, um, you know, that was the biggest thing is to be able to come away with the win, and ultimately we did that as a team. Yep. I think each game kind of dictates a, a different response to that, Vinny, but, but today was the case for sure. I thought he did a great job closing it out, really kind of helped out to get to the second and short, and then we were able to you know, finish it out where he gets another good run right there, able to bounce it. I thought he had some great runs running through some arm tackles. You could see the explosion once he gets to the second and third level. And I think like anything else, you know, you get yourself into game shape. It's humid out here, but, but he made some big-time runs, and I thought he and Malcolm both, really our running, grab, running back group as a whole was outstanding. You know, it was more the flow of the game than anything else. You know, we were just kind of feeling it out. Skip does a great job of kind of having the autonomy to be able to roll them and the confidence that we have both in Todd and Malcolm. That was kind of really more than anything else. Yeah, I think until we go back and look at the tape, I think first and foremost, there's always going to be things that I feel like I can do a better job of in terms of enabling our players to get into the flow and, and a rhythm of a game. I thought the, you know, the Panthers' defense did a good job. You know, they got some great players over there, but as the game wore on, I thought our players did a great job executing. And, and really, until I go back and look at the film and to be able to individually isolate each individual performance, it's hard, uh, you know, kind of just seeing it firsthand. But I thought there was some good, some bad, and, and ultimately to be able to get the win. Now, one thing you don't do is take any wins for granted in this league and and we'll take that Coach, can you talk a little bit about the um, running back choices especially at goal line situations it seemed like brown was the go-to guy in those situations rather than Gurley. yeah it wasn't necessarily that it was just kind of he was up in that series uh based on the flow and, and how many plays todd had played prior to that it didn't really have anything to do with where we were at on the field as much as it just was okay we're going to get malcolm in in this series and that was something that was predetermined but but they both did a great job today You know what? I think uh, it's things that we expect to do a little bit better, Sam, but I know this. I know our special teams unit. I know John Fossil, myself, uh, Matt Daniels. We'll go to work. We'll look at it. We'll find a way to get it corrected, and I, and I uh, have a full confidence that we'll be better next week. Yeah, Taylor Rapp and Marquis Christian both stepped up in a big way. You know, when you lose somebody like Eric with what he means to our team, the communication, some of those things, uh, it can be deflating, but I thought our guys did a great job handling it. Certainly, uh, you're never going to be able to replace an Eric Weddle, but I thought, in, you know, in the midst of a little bit of adversity, which inevitably you're going to face throughout the course of a season, our guys handled that pretty well. And uh, like I said, I can't wait to go back, look at this film, dive into it, and figure out how we can be better next week. He's in concussion protocol right now, Lindsay, and, and we'll have a little bit more information on him tomorrow. Yeah, I thought there was some. I thought in the key moments he made some great decisions. You know, there were some big third down conversions on some drives that we had to respond to, Sam. And then I thought there were some plays where, whether it was me putting him in a bad spot or I think that he'll make those throws more times than not. And you can see, you know, uh, first game there's always going to be a couple things that I think we all want to be able to do a little bit better, and we'll hopefully continue to improve as the season progresses. Yeah, there was a couple plays that we could have made here or there that, that I think our guys will make more times than not. And then there was a couple plays where you say that's a great play. I thought Bradbury's pick where he undercut Robert Woods on the deep in breaking route was, you know, we kind of got a look that we wanted, but he made a great play right there. And, um, you know, I got a lot of respect for the Panthers team. You know, you look at the way they continue to compete and made it tough all the way down to the wire, and it's a tough football team right there. Yeah. 
I, I wouldn't say that. I think it was more just the flow of the game, Lindsay, and then we'll continue to evaluate as the season progresses. And, you know, Todd's our starting back. Feel really good about him. That it was the first action that a lot of our guys have gotten in a while in a different environment. And, you know, we got a lot of snaps and kind of, we're, you know, you can feel that, that heat wears on both teams and it's a different element. We've got to do a good job of kind of having a feel as a staff to be able to, to adapt and adjust accordingly. Yeah, I think it's just the little details, whether it's some of the techniques, whether we're running the football, whether we're throwing it, the way we distribute the field, the way that we read with our feet at quarterback, the way that we get lined up on defense and have some urgency, so um, the way that we protect up front in the punt phase. So all those things are things that, uh, you, you know, the experience is where you expect to get better. You know, we always talk about repetition is the mother of learning and, and getting those reps today. We expect to learn from it and continue to move forward. Just great athleticism, you know, a guy that can really compete, you know, defending the run, defending the pass. Uh, he's always active, and, and he made a big pick for us in a crunch time situation that ended up being a big play for us to ultimately win that game. You know, I, I don't think that was anything we worried about. We just worried about trying to come here and get to 1-0. and and, and there's a lot of things that we expect to do better, but we know it's the 2019 season. Never take for granted a win, Gary, and looking forward to seeing if we can find a way to get to 2-0 and next week against, uh, you know, the reigning NFC South Division champs.